everyone Jan Hicks here of Jan Hicks creates I have a finish my finish you ask we are finished moving to Hawaii now I'm sorry that we are in a rather uninspiring looking room this is our um, room at the Navy Lodge I had hoped to be able to film um, outside and and hopefully I will be able to at some point but the the winds are blowing pretty hard um, here on Fort Island. Um, Fort Island in the middle of Pearl Harbor is where the Navy Lodge is, um, and the winds the winds do keep a, a pretty good pace throughout the day. Um, and so if I tried to film outside, it would be just you know a mess. Things flying everywhere, hair in my face. You know, we'll see what it is once we get up to the apartment. So we we made it. Um, Quick recap, the cats did fantastic. The drive across the country was um, many long days in the car. We didn't keep the cats in their, their crates during that time, they were free to roam. And, um, but they pretty much just stayed in one or two places in the back of the, the SUV that we rented and just slept the whole day. They were not at all bothered by a different hotel room every night. When we got to into the got them into the room, they just kind of ran around, you know, sniffing at everything, a new place to explore, and they, they then they just kind of found their place to lay, and you know, it was all good. Um, so we took five days to to drive across the country. Had pretty good weather the whole time. We hit some rain in Georgia, Mississippi. Who knows? It all blends together, but for the most part, it was good weather. Um, spent, what, two and a half days at my in-laws in Surprise, getting the RV, picking it up from the repair place that it was at and getting that into storage. We boxed up, boxed up um, most of our clothing um, and a lot of odds and ends, the Instant Pot. Um, and mailed those to Hawaii to the Navy Lodge so we didn't have that much luggage to deal with. We pretty much just had two small like carry-on suitcases that we checked and then our backpacks that we actually took on board with us um, and, and the cats. The cats checking them in, we flew Hawaiian Airlines over from Phoenix, checking them in was, it was a long process, there was a lot of paperwork to fill out, but we had done our due diligence, we had everything they needed, um, it went smoothly, though it did take a bit of time. We, um, when we got here, found Animal Quarantine after we picked up our baggage in our rental car and everything went very smoothly in animal quarantine, again, because we had done the paperwork and, and the timing and everything thing that they needed. No hiccups, no problems at all. Um, <clears throat> we will be doing a video, I think, recapping and, and that whole process in detail. Probably put that, or definitely put that on our Sunsets and Sangria um, YouTube channel. For those of you, anybody else out there who might be traveling to Hawaii who wants to know what the process looks like. It would have been helpful if we had had something like that, so we're going to go ahead and, and do that for, for future travelers. Um, so we're at the Navy Lodge. Our Jeep got here the same day we did, which we were very shocked about, um, happily so. 
we will pick it up someday this week. So that, that was Friday that we got in. Mike got an email Friday afternoon that, that it had arrived. The facility, the vehicle processing facility is closed over the weekend. So um, Mike went back to work today, his first day on his new job. Actually, today will be pretty much be all in processing. Um, so he has to figure out his work schedule and then we'll schedule an appointment to pick up the Jeep. So it will be good to have that back. We don't have a faintest idea when our household goods will get here. Um, earliest would probably, I think the date we were told was December 28th for the big shipment. The small shipment we've been told gets here about the same time. So we will be in the Navy Lodge until then. It's a nice facility. It has a little kitchenette, um, you know, separate bathroom, whatever. Um, it's a nice facility, but it is a, just a hotel. They have a nice pool. They have a nice courtyard. Um, I love being on Ford Island. There's a so this is the this is where the Arizona Memorial and the USS Missouri Memorial and Museum are. We can walk to them from where we're at. Um, they have a history trail around the island that for anybody who is a World War II history buff, which both Mike and I are, and Mike definitely with any of the military equipment, um, it's a fascinating walk. We walked, we walked it all our, on Sunday, no, Saturday. It was a four mile walk around the island. I was pretty much toast by the time we were done. It was like, whose idea was this? We're gonna do a video of that as well for our Sunsets and Sangria channel because um, the history walk isn't something that Fort Island is a um, is a closed military facility basically um, the people the tourists can come over they're brought over on buses to do the museum the Arizona unfortunately is currently closed for repairs but it's not like they can just roam freely on the island and the, the history walk goes the whole way around the island um, so we thought that might be a cool thing to give people a view of that so we'll be doing that at some point too. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're pretty much settled in, spent the weekend buying odds and ends that we need here um, for our stay in the Navy Lodge. Um, and yeah, Mike went back to work today. I'm glad to have him out of my hair. <laughs> oh, my hair looks a mess. Um, I'm tired, as you can see. I, I didn't put any makeup on. I'm, you know, it's a, it's a big transition but um, we're, we're pretty much settled in. Um, I'm glad to have him out of my hair just so I can have my own schedule <laughs> and do my own thing. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting a video done and getting it up and saying hello to everybody again because it has been a while and I miss you guys. Um, I wanna thank you for your support, your um, well wishes, your prayers and positive vibes for the cats. I mean, they were not freaked out at all. In fact, when we arrived here at the Navy Lodge, we got here about 1.30 and check-in wasn't until 3. So we spent pretty much an hour and a half just sitting in the van. We had rented a van so we had enough room to um, get the, the crates over. We let them out of their crates. We had a, a, a collapsible litter box in case they needed it. We put some food out and um, they just kind of laid down. They weren't freaked at all. They'd been used to being in those the, the SUV that we drove across the country. So it was just like, yeah, just another day. <laughs> so thank you so much for all of the, the love and the prayers and the vibes. I, I believe it helped. And they are currently asleep over on the other side of the room. So all is good here. I can't wait to get into our apartment and introduce them to the part the apartment they're going to love the additional space to roam and to run and to play um, but for now we are very good and very well settled here so that is my big finish i do have another finish i have showed this on facebook and instagram but i don't think i think in my last video it was still in process almost done so playing with jacks by the cricket collection is that not adorable? The fabric is 36 count, light mountain, I believe. Or this might be the dark mountain. 
from her club, Extu Designs um, subscription, Fabric of the Month subscription club. So this probably won't get finished until next year. My envision is to get some kind of wooden pumpkin-y plaque that I can mount this on. <clears throat> and I may go online and see if um, Michael's or Joanne's has something, you know, clearance something or other um, that I can mount this on. But it is finished and I think it is adorable love it um i don't have the the chart here with me i think i must have packed that out no it's it's probably i don't know <laughs> it's in a box somewhere it might be in a drawer somewhere i don't know we got a couple of the boxes we mailed yesterday a third one is coming today with our pillows yay um and I had all, I mean, it, at this point, I don't know what's where. Things are still rather chaotic. But anyways, playing with jacks, great pattern. Change the center one, right? The center one is the one with the smiling face on the picture on the pattern. This is the alternate design within that is also charted in the pattern. Used all the called for, four colors except for these um, leaves here in the middle. They called for a silk silk and colors thread gatherer um, silk and I picked up um, a needle necessities or thread works I mean um, kind of autumn colored floss to use on that so <clears throat> on the flight over I knit you know knitting is um, has much less stuff to deal with for the most part um, just easier all I had to worry about was the pattern and the ball of yarn and my needles and so it's just easier so I got quite a bit done on um, my scarf this is magmatic by Laura Nelkin the um, I actually am doing extra rows because I still have you can see I still have quite a bit of yarn left I had only just started the blue when um, we were getting towards the end of the design and so I kind of went back and repeated the last page. Um, and I'm very happy with this. So I'm working on this now about an hour a day now that we're settled. This is going to be my work on a little bit every day until it's done. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do a video showing kind of like a steak with me video, um, you know, showing me actually cutting the, the um, knitting and, and what happens whenever you steek it and, and undo the, the stitches. So that is that. The other one I've been working on mostly um, before, well, we started this December 1st. This is a stitch along that I'm doing with Tamara Bowen, this, nan, this, this Nana Stitches, and Andy, I can't pronounce your last name, Andy. Um, Nana's Needles, Lynette Peters, who is 1LAP1 on Instagram, and we just had a new person join us, Cozy Stitcher PDX, another Linda. Um, so those are the people that are working on the Sal together. So this is mine. I'm holding this white paper with it because it helps to, with the white balance, it helps to give you a more accurate view look at at the colors um it has a tendency to get rather blown out so this is um grace quaker sampler by sampler cove so what i have done is this middle wreath that little motif that little motif that big motif and i'm starting on this one my plan it will be mostly in these grays and the cream and then the red will just be used in spots here and there i am totally loving this it looks like the cream might be fading out a bit on the camera 
but it's it's much more visible it's kind of a dirty cream the this is another this is ash rose by xju designs 40 count the threads are all victorian motto the grays are from one of her gray sam gray packs the cream is as well and the red is one of her reds as well I'm really, really enjoying this. This motif down here, the big one, took quite a while. Um, I started this in the car on the way, so it was slow stitching for a while. And um, then once we got into Phoenix, I was only, only at time to stitch in the evenings. This I'm going to switch to also just doing an hour a day um, because I want to start working more on Christmas, um, the two Christmas ones. Now, one of my friends on Facebook posted about the Advent service. I used to go to the same church as her in Severna Park, Maryland. She posted yesterday about what a great Advent service it was. And I, I just, my brakes went, Advent? Wait, wait, Advent, isn't that in December? Oh. Yeah, I'm just, it's not that I don't have any Christmas spirit. I'm a very Christmas spirited person. I'm not a bah humbug person and I'm not bah humbug right now, but it's like, and it's not just being in Hawaii that it's hard to visualize that it's Christmas. It's that, you know, when Christmas is coming, when Thanksgiving, that time of year is coming, you start to gear up. Your brain starts going, okay, I have to do this, and I have to do this, and I have to get this ready, and this is when we're going to decorate. I have to get this stuff out. You know, your brain starts, when am I going to make the cookies? When am I going to do this? When are the boys coming? When am, you know, all that starts stuff starts piling up in your brain. I have none of that. What was piling up in my brain was all move-related, right? So, oh, look who's going to come and say hi. Oh, look at the pretty girl. Say hi, Nina. She looks a little disgruntled, but that's only because she's like, Mommy, I didn't want you to pick me up. She's a good girl. She's such a good girl. Um, so I have none of that in my brain right now. So I, I can't even conceive that it's Christmas. It just, it, it's, and really we're not doing anything for Christmas this year. You know, we moved to Hawaii. That's a pretty big Christmas present. The boys aren't going to be here. Um, so, but anyways, having said that, I do want to get some of these Christmas things done that I started because they're just so gosh, gosh, those, they're so gosh darn pretty. Let me see if I can get this color to show up better. That's yeah, not too bad. I don't remember now what fabric I'm using. I'd have to look it up. This is, oh, it was almost in my brain. Is it a platinum? I don't remember. It's another, I think this is a 36 count. So this is Tis the Season. 36 count something something by someone. <laughs> and it's my own floss, um, floss choices. So I hope, I mean, I'm pretty far along on this and this stitches pretty quickly. So this is what I'm going to be working on most of the day with an hour on my knitting and an hour on Sampler Cove um, thrown in there to hopefully get those done. Once this is done, I'm gonna bring out Winter Wonderland from Kaniki's Whims and Prims, but I'm not showing that today. So that's my, those are my whips. I have a little bit of, of goodies to show you, stash enhancement as we like to say. First let me start with these two. Silver Creek Samplers, My Christmas Wish. I've had this, oh my yoga mat just fell over. Um, I've been wanting this for a while so this is one of the ones I got when I was at Keepsakes. And then this is the other one, Jeanette Douglas Mini Quaker Stitches. This was a, a model on the wall, and I don't know that I'd ever seen this before, so I, I got that one as well. Now these two charts, they did not have in stock and they ordered for me. And I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Keepsakes. It's a great store, we all know that. Customer service also 
above, above and beyond. It struck me probably the day before we left Maryland, maybe the day of, I don't know, really, really close to when we were leaving, that um, I believe it was when we were on our trip across the country taking the RV out to Phoenix, Steph had called me and let me know that these were in and I gave them my credit card information. And actually I had to wait till I got home to give them my credit card information because our credit card was compromised on that trip and I had to wait till we got home to get the new ones. So once we got home, I called them and I gave them the credit card information and they shipped these out. It struck me, like I said, the day before we were leaving that I had never gotten these. They never showed up. And so I called Keepsakes, talked to Linny, and talked to Steph to make sure they had sent them, and they said they did. Um, but since they didn't arrive, no questions asked, they sent out two more. And they sent them, I gave them my address here in Hawaii at the apartment, and so when we went up to the apartment on Saturday, these were in the mailbox. I mean, how awesome is that? My first mail here in Hawaii, was from Keepsakes, cross stitch. The other mail I got that was also waiting for me in the mailbox was the wonderful, lovely, much loved Donna Ray Barrow, Flannel Jammies Farm. We had done, well, she had seen that one of my um, stitchy wishes was Quaker handiwork. And so she said, Jan, I have it. I'm done with it. Would you like it? Well, yeah. And I had sent her something. So we did kind of an exchange. I, you know, I haven't the faintest idea what I sent you, Donna Ray. <laughs> Indigo Lane, I think I sent that to Cindy. I, Donna Ray. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyways, she sent me this. But not only did she send me that, look how pretty this is. Silken colors in gray stone. Isn't that pretty? It's very similar to the dirty cream kind of that I'm using on the um, Grace sampler, Quaker sampler. So it's kind of a cream with hints of gray in it. Really, really a striking color. And then she also got me these needle minders the little boat with the seagull, and then look at that one, the little fishies jumping in the ocean. How perfect are those? So, and then, of course, a bee postcard with a description of how bees communicate. So, those were all waiting for me, my first things in my mailbox here in Hawaii. <coughs> That's pretty awesome, right? Okay, guys. Um, that may or may not be it. It's all I can think of. <laughs> I think at 22 minutes we're doing good. This is over the 15 minutes, but we're gonna try and upload this to Mike's um, little laptop and upload it through that. I'm also going to, okay. Yeah, so I think we're good. <coughs> Excuse me. If I've forgotten something, I know where to find you, right? Anyways. Welcome to Hawaii with me. I promise you there is going to be, or it's kind of late now because while by the time you're to this point, you've seen the pictures at the beginning, but the pictures at the beginning are going to be something of what I've taken here. You know, there's a rainbow every day. Um, Pearl Harbor, I think is known like the, the, the northern part of Pearl Harbor is known as Rainbow Bay. We have seen a full, full double rainbow every day. It's always kind of misty and rainy in, in parts of the island. I don't know whether that's just this time of year or all through the year. Michelle Bendy Stitchy, I know you can tell me. Um, so let me know what, what to expect. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna have all kinds of pictures. Pictures of, of our walk around Ford Island, of the rainbows, um, just whatever happy snaps that I have so far. Um, I think that's all. 
I will talk to you again soon. I will see you on Facebook and Instagram. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And oh, just a real quick reminder, um, a great way to support those of us who do floss tube is to watch the videos, the ads at the beginning, at the end. Um, just let them play, you know, start the video, go get your, your drink of choice, go get your stitching or knitting. Um, it really does help a lot to have the, that, that money coming in um, to support the efforts um, and just to say thank you. So um, if you like what you're seeing here, I hope you'll do that and I hope you will come back. Next week, I hope to be doing some Stitch With Me's here. I have all kinds of plans going up here in my brain. So now that we're getting settled, I hope to implement those plans. So until whatever comes next, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.